Guyana's electricity remains in dire straits, according to opposition leader Aubrey Norton. Addressing his weekly press conference on Thursday, Norton said that the generators appeared to be another example of failure on the part of the government. During the severe blackout crisis that plagued Guyana last year, the PPP purchased used generator sets at a cost of US $27 million. Minister Indar committed that these would be installed in time for Christmas. This did not happen. During the budget debates, we instead heard that these generators will be installed by February. He said that as a result, people are once more complaining about multiple daily blackouts. We are reliably informed that most of the generators are, function are not functioning and that those few that are functioning are underperforming. The people the PPP must immediately come clean to the people of Guyana about the state of these generators, as it would appear that they have once again wasted tens of millions of U.S. dollars of citizens' hard-earned dollars. He said that the coalition had warned that there was need for an additional 50 megawatts of power that could serve as redundancy. This was because of the fast growing power needs. This advice was not followed, and now we are yet again facing another blackout crisis. If the PPP cannot even manage the purchase and installation of a few small generators, it is no wonder that they recently pushed back the timeline for the gas to energy project by six months. Norton queried whether this gas to energy project would fail in the same way the Skeldon Sugar Factory failed. That factory saw an investment of 200 million US dollars. And Member of Parliament Ganesh Mahipal identified the multi million dollar expenditure in pump stations across the country. He said that he has been following the construction of pump stations across the country. Five of these stations have been identified for Region 3. 2023, the Minister of Agriculture, Zulfikar Mustafa, said in the House that he has the documents relating to all of these pump stations and that he is prepared to lay them over to bring clarity in the face of transparency and accountability. My Paul said that to date no one has been in receipt of any document. All of the Region 3 pump stations have been awarded by contract ranging from some $900 billion to $700 billion. Some of the contracts were awarded in 2021. Three of them were awarded last year. With reference to the Bellevue pump station, which is the Pui Group, $866 million. No work has commenced and this award was made in June of last year. The one at the Podrine, I have witnessed only about 10 pile driving exercise happening. 10 piles going down. Well, they're, they're, they're just there. I haven't, um, I haven't seen the, the equipment putting them down. Uh, with reference to the Metamere's or pump station, not even the sign board is up. And uh, nothing is going on at Metamere's or... The money was contained in budget 2023. Notwithstanding, the government has voted even more money for projects. My Paul said that the weather is perfect for the works of the pump stations. He predicted that when the floods come, the government would vote additional sums to the contractors. The reason would be disaster necessity.